used to be so shy and un, uh, unconfident in the sexual world because I started late. The fast isn't that bad because before when I used to fast, I was only eating breakfast and dinner. And my intake per day was like 800 calories. So like I would just stay at 800 calories and it wasn't a problem. And I would make sure I'm high protein. I would make sure that I was, you know, low carb, low, low ish fat. Um, and I would be, I would hover around like 180 and that's where I wanted to be, 180, 190. Mm -hmm. And then John's like, Hey, 2,300 calories, this many carbs, this much protein, this much fat. Fantastic. I've gained a lot of muscle from doing that, but I'm always, I feel like I'm always eating more than I, I feel like I need, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like I'm, I'm eating when I'm not hungry instead of eating when I'm hungry. Yeah. Well, that's what they say. Like, remember, uh, I forget. It's always sunny in Philadelphia. This is a horrible, <laughs> horrible example, but this dude was trying to bulk up, bulk up, and he's talking about like the five thousand calorie. He's doing mm -hmm. five thousand. That's insane, obviously. Yeah. But he was trying to get huge and everything. But like, yeah, like he he said he the last few calories are like almost impossible. He would take an ice cream thing and just uh, melt it and just drink it, mm -hmm. literally. Yeah, and the 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 thing with it is though, like, so I was doing eight hundred calories to a thousand calories a day. I was eating breakfast. I wouldn't eat anything all day long, and then I would eat a small dinner, and that's what I had every day. And I was fine. If I was a little hungry, I'd eat. I'd eat more, but like typically, that was good enough for me because I have snacks and shit at home, mm -hmm. so I can eat other shit. But typically, what I would have is a piece of toast with egg and cheese, and cottage cheese in the morning, and then the exact same thing for dinner every day. No problems. Um, then John told me twenty three hundred calories. I'm like, okay, cool. It doesn't even seem like that much, really. Twenty three hundred? Well, it's not, but like I, I was used to like a thousand. So I moved it up to 2,300 and I've had to force feed myself for a little while. And then I was like, but I'm going to gain weight, right? Because I'm, I'm going from a thousand to 2,300. And he's like, well, yeah, you're going to gain weight initially, but then, you know, it'll burn off. And I'm like, okay, cool. No problem. So I didn't change like my, I was working out more, but I didn't like add cardio in or anything like that. I just literally went from like, I'd work out maybe once or twice a week. So now I'm working out, I'm boxing two to three times a week and I'm going to the gym two to three times a week. So I'm working out way more mm -hmm. and I'm also eating way more. But I've noticed that I've gained a lot of muscle, but I've also gained a lot of fat. Which is the bulk, I mean, that's what it is. It is the bulk. So now I gotta like find a way to pull off the bulk because I need to be in good shape within the next like couple weeks. So now I'm like, you know what? You mean good shape, you mean look like you're in better shape. You try to lose a couple pounds of fat, is what you're saying? Correct. In two weeks or what? What's going on? Uh, so there's there's an engagement party that I gotta go to on the oh, 27th. Who's getting engaged? My cousin and his now fiance. Oh, fan, big family event and everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I wanna, cause this is like in April, it's at a nice place, so I wanna look nice, I wanna dress in nice clothes. Mm -hmm. So I wanna, you know, be a little trimmed down for that. Then I got Cancun, like, a week after that. Oh, yeah. And I'm like, oh, I gotta look good for Cancun. Are you going on a cruise? No, it's a trip for the company. Uh, They're flying me out. Uh, did you win something? Yeah, like, you know, it's like, oh, I, the, hard to believe. At like, the end of the year? The best seller. Yeah, I, I mean, well, who taught you how to sell? To sell. Yeah, that's true, that's true, that's true. But no, top store top store manager in the market. Word. So it's you and a bunch of managers partying in Cancun? No, it's only uh, top two. You and one other person? Me and one other person. Well, no, I mean, for our market. Which is up and then more. okay, yeah, yeah. And then so like me and okay. me and the manager of Webster are going from our market, and then funny enough, my DM is also has also won it, so he's gonna be going, That's and then cool. it's like top two or three. I think it's top two from every market, and there's like 40, 50 markets, and then they Maybe all get to bring year? plus ones or whatever. This? I did it one time before, and it was really fun. I brought my mom, and it was really fun. So like, that's wow. how you know it's fun, because I brought my mom. So that's I had crazy. to like dial back everything like exponentially. Well, yeah, and I still had a great time. That's wild. You brought your mom. I like, can't believe that. Mm -hmm. wow. Who are you bringing this time? John. Okay. I asked you when you. Uh, did you? Yeah, I asked you and you just declined. Her. I don't remember being asked. So yeah. just for the record, guys, I actually I was asked never asked. I was never asked. It was in the elevator. when it was, was in I elevator. blackout drunk? Typically, probably. What did yeah. I? What did I say? I don't remember this. You're like, and then what? Yeah, you like played it off like Mexico's not a big deal. I'm like, all right, cool, no problem. Okay. Well, and then I asked John, and I was yeah, like, missed out on a trip to Mexico. 
And that's why you don't drink anymore. And I, you go. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. That's why you don't you drink see anymore. See how things work out? So you guys saw last episode. Uh, welcome to the show, Harmonious Chaos 55, guys. We're back again. And guess what? We're we're not drinking. We're not doing any uh, anything right now. Nothing. This guy's fasting. That's what he was just talking about, which we didn't even really get to, did we? No, we'll get to that in a second. But what the fuck was I just saying? Not high, not drunk. He's still been drinking. can't remember anything. He's been drinking. You think so? With the way your your recall is right now, God. No, no I haven't been. So this is sober you. This is sober me. I mean, oh, I smoked Lord. earlier, so that was quite a while ago, probably two hours. Oh, and I'm not smoking. Although I microdose, microdose today, so maybe uh, that's affecting you. I'm also not smoking. Smoking the the brownies. Brownies. Yeah. Don't you the fucking what are they called? The blacks. Black and mild browns, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Completely good. Good. No smoking good shit. Anything. Good shit. I'm literally only consuming. The only thing I'm putting in my body, in my body, is a gallon of water a day. That's it. And the ghost agrees. Did you see that? I saw a flicker or something. Check the tape, guys. Did it happen? I think it did. Did it? It did. So anyway, the ghost agrees. The spirits agree. We're on some good shit. Yeah. So sober. Yeah. Sober. Sober, sober, sober. life. Sober life. I'm just gonna be sober now. Fuck it. I like that. But I think now I'm. I'm feeling like. I'm feeling the, the call, the, the urge. The alcohol call? The alcohol call. Because I feel like I'm sitting here, I'm like a little alcohol would calm my nerves a little bit. I'm nervous more than normal right now. You're nervous? And it's because I'm sober. I feel, <laughs> I feel like there's this pressure for me to do something now. Where normally I'm just like, there's nothing. Right now I'm feeling like, I gotta do, oh, could have been because of microdose today. Okay, it was, it was. What was guys, that? That was that was an answer. That was them saying, "Yeah, dude, microdose no, like, technically well, counts." That looked like a and, that looked like a bolt of lightning that came down to your yeah, floor. I know. I was looking dead at it. Oh, you actually saw the bolt? I, yeah. Or the whatever that's caused that? That's dangerous. Oh wait, really? Yeah. Oh, I lightning. literally saw a light like lightning go from like up here somewhere to just and it like went down to like the floor. Dead in front. I've been having all those issues with the, the stuff here. Wow, and That's the plumbing in the bathroom's fucked up. Yeah, this place is crumbling, brother. And I just signed a new lease. It's yeah, gonna go not to gonna Florida, be able to that. but you know, so it's beautiful, be lovely, and lovely. <laughs> Luckily, she doesn't watch anymore. But um, yeah, I don't know, man. What was I saying? <laughs> yeah, I still can't keep. I still can't keep track of my thoughts. I think that's just how I am. I think that, <coughs> I think I've just burnt my brain out, or I've always been like this. I don't think I've always been like this. I think the weed did affect my memory. Well, you've always... The thing is, you've always been kind of like this, but you've always been drunk. Oh. Right. So now that you're slowly, like, pulling away from being drunk all the time... It's like, oh, I am just like this. And then you're just like, yeah. yeah. I mean, I Because really before, when you were like that, we'd be like, oh, he's just drunk. But like, now it's like, oh, no, that's just bad. <laughs> Very different. Very different. <laughs> yeah, well, it's lateral thinking. You know, mm -hmm. that's what gets me. Lateral thinking is more fun. It's like the I, it's like the creative type of thinking, you know. Yeah. It's like this reminds me of that reminds me of this metaphors and all sorts of stuff. This is that to this to that. But then when it's time to like say, all right, this is what we're talking about, I get so bored halfway through. I'm like, I've already because I think the thought right, and then I have to say it. Mm -hmm. By the time I'm in the middle of saying it, the next thought's coming. I'm missing things because I'm talking. The, the words don't come out as fast as the thoughts come in. So I'm trying to. Isn't that called? Like, isn't that what ADHD? I have to say? I mean, you could, I guess. I don't know what it is. It's just a different way of thinking. Is matter all? I mean, no, I don't think we need to do that, do we? No, because when I do Adderall, I feel like I'm getting high. I feel like I'm on coke or something. Might be the, I don't think that's right. They say if you're on Adderall and you need it, you don't feel high. And I definitely feel high. You know? Yeah, but do you or do you just think? I mean, I definitely think I do. Yeah, <laughs> but I'm mean, talking more and you're probably able to like converse better. But is that high or is that just like high functioning? Hmm. I don't know. Exactly. It's a good question. You want to I definitely want your best version no. of you. I don't think so. I don't want to start taking Adderall. That's crazy. I'm, I'm <coughs> trying to be off of everything. That's why I'm like, you know, mushrooms. You're just talking about how you want to go chug some alcohol because you feel pressure. Well, I said I the, the thought comes, but I know that's just kind of like a, you know, the devil talking. Yeah, that's not the real thought. That's not like 
I mean, at least I thought, sure, all thoughts are thoughts. I guess they're all real technically, but like, technically, it's not what I have to take seriously. It's one of those things where you know, like, no, it's a pattern. The drinking thing for me is always a pattern. How do we get up to me? We were talking about you. All right, we'll go back to you in a second. The pattern, we talked, you said not drinking. Yeah. The pattern is, you know, for me, not drinking is fine, it's all good. And then it's like, I'm bored. That's really what it starts with. And I do kind of, you know, when I'm, when I'm hanging around people, I uh, don't like it that much a lot of times. Mm. I'm actually kind of, as a, as a social person, I really love it, but like, like my social battery is kind of short. Mm. It's like goes very high. So like I really get intense and into stuff, into conversations. And then like once it's over, or like once I they get to a point where I'm just like, okay. Or just like, you know, or if it's just social anxiety, I don't know what it is. But, probably you know, social anxiety. It's just like, and you've used the alcohol to kind of like, right? Oh, that's true. Yeah. So then it's like the social anxiety. Mm -hmm. So then it's like, oh, we gotta get sober. Ugh. And that's like I'm, I'm all here too. Damn. I'm right. I'm all here. Normally, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of here, but I'm also kind of just floating in like, away. Fuck you, land a little bit. Yeah. Which is kind of what alcohol is a little bit, right? It's fuck like, you, land. Yeah. It's like, yeah, fuck you guys. It's whatever. Who cares? Yeah. It's just, but now you're here. Eckhart Tolle's now. How's it feel? I don't know. It feels weird. I think I shouldn't have microdosed. Damn. I replaced one thing with another. I was like, you know what? Now that I'm sober, well, let's introduce something else into the system. Yes, yes, yes. Anyway, let's go back to you and your fasting. That's what we started this whole thing with. Mm -hmm. And you said you've done this before and it's like not a big deal to you. It's just easy. No, we didn't know. I mean, we, so me and my brothers, we've all done extreme things to lose weight or gain muscle or whatever we're all very in our own respects vain mm -hmm. so weight loss for us is like why you know why go to the why eat 2000 calories a day and go to the gym and run on the treadmill and work out and then come home sleep right don't drink don't eat junk food <clears throat> and do that for like three four five months six months because when you're speaking of losing weight in a healthy manner, that's only one to two pounds a week. So like we're like, what if we just like, you know, don't eat for a week. the crash diet, basically. Yeah. So then we don't eat for a week. And the first time we did it, I remember I went from like 195 down to 180. And I was like, oh, this is fantastic. And every time I lose about 15, 10, 15 I mean, pounds. You will, yeah, you're not eating. Yeah, so like, I'm like, and then we've done it so many times, I've become, Almost numb to it, conditioned, yeah, where, like, today, I woke up and I didn't, I actually woke up later on purpose, so I wouldn't eat breakfast. And then I went to work, and usually at work I'll have, like, I'll, I'll have lunch or a snack or something, and today I didn't, so I just kept myself busy all day. And here we are now at 8 o'clock. I've eaten nothing all day long. I've only drank water. I've smoked no nicotine all day long, no caffeine all day long. And I'm chilling. And then I'm going to do this until Sunday night, Monday morning. So how do you feel right now as far as not even the food? Because it's day one, but like the nicotine and the, you know, coffee and that type of stuff. I feel fine. I actually, to be completely honest with you, better. I feel better. Yeah. Like I feel... Like, and I hate saying this because you said it, so it just wow. makes... Wow. I, I think you said it. You said something to the to the effect of when you fast, it, like, your body removes the dead yeah, of like, course. waste product. Yeah. And I feel clarity. It's known. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's kind of how I feel right now is I feel clarity. Like, I'm not tired. I'm not hungry. I'm just here. I'm talking. I'm here. And that's how I felt all day today. I've just been present mm -hmm. everywhere I'm everywhere I am everything I'm doing I'm present uh, I had an actually a really good sales day today yeah. I was on point the entire day and so I don't know if it's like all coincidence but I'm sure definitely feeling better I'm I'd like to see where I'm gonna be you know in a day or two how that's gonna affect me sure sure but I think we're doing a good job right now we're doing we're doing solid and I'm really curious to see how much weight I'm gonna lose though because that's the whole reason behind this is weight loss. Test it out. See, oh, I should have weighed that's myself why, today, too. That's why I weighed myself when I got in here. All right, I want to do it when we leave. Because I want to do this. Because you're going to start eating what? 
uh, we record these on Monday. So Monday morning is when I'll send. You'll see, you'll eat for the first time. And then for me, I'm going to not eat until, so next podcast, I will not have eaten for a week. Mm. And you will have just eaten for the first time in a week. And we'll see how we are. Right? Or do we push it all the way to Or do you want to go one extra day? Eat, eat, the, eat the first morsel of food on the Ooh. podcast. First, ooh, we got to, okay, fine. That's pretty good. I like that. But we got to think of something healthy and good to eat. What are we going to eat? Well, you're supposed like to break a fast. Or something. You're supposed to break a fast with like rice cakes. Rice Something cakes. extremely low, low, like light. So not tequila or? No, no, no. You don't break a fast with tequila. No. I mean, you got, in all reality, you I've could. Done it. I've done it. Because my brother, when he breaks his fast, he typically breaks his fast with like, it just like a grievous amount of foods. Oh, it just goes ham. And yeah, like he, he broke his 10 day fast and then had a chipotle bowl with chips and chips and queso and guac on the bowl with the tortilla yeah, on the delicious. side and he made a burrito and Extra ate the bowl. Burrito. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, he did all that shit. And I think he said there was like pizza at his crib too. And he finished off like two pieces, two slices of pizza. Yeah. And he gained back like five pounds. Five? Yeah. So like he, he lost, I think he said he lost 15 or 20. It's so easy to get him. Then he gained back five. But my whole, my whole thinking behind this, because this is all, again, this is all vain. This has nothing to do with, like, bodily health. Right, right, right. It's just, a, you know, a, but a side effect thing, of it. But you, the, oh, you, the, the side effect is the bodily health that you're going to get? Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I'm doing it strictly for the vanity. Mm -hmm. But the bodily health is a fantastic side effect because I'm going to completely wean myself off of nicotine. So when I do smoke again, it's not going to be like, oh, I need to smoke a lot or I want to smoke a lot. It's like I'll smoke maybe a quarter or half of a black and I'll be good. So you, there's no chance you would stop smoking the blacks. Completely. I, I contemplated it just because of the smell. I'm not a fan of the smell. You would like the high though? Is that what it is? I like the smoking you things. Do you just like the action of the smoking? Like that's why I used to smoke weed. I never liked being high, but I like smoking. It's mm -hmm. just the act of smoking. That's why I vape because like vaping is the act all day long. So I don't know. I got to figure out something. That's got to be some weird childhood shit. Why do you? It's a, it's a, I used to it? suck dick when I was a kid. So, so maybe you should just suck dick instead of taking all that. <laughs> yeah, but I can't do that all day long. Yeah. Don't you work with someone who's uh, who would give it to you like that in that way? Yeah. You used to, or you still do. I do, yeah. So you could do that. Get better at it so that you could do a service to people mm -hmm. on the streets. You see some of the people who live around here. Yeah, but that's such a that's such a dedicated amount of time. I'm just saying, having the uh, what is that called? The oral fixation. Oral fixation. There's gotta be other things you can do with it than smoking, is what I'm trying to say. Not yeah, just like penis. toothpick. Toothpick, yeah. Gum. Gum, does gum work? Yeah. yeah, so be a gum guy. Then you get the sick jaw, too. Talk about vanity, that's what you should do. Actually, that's why I started chewing again, because yeah, my jaw. Yeah, you get the jaw right. Mm -hmm. And then you can skip the cigarettes. My buddy does the ziz, or whatever the hell they're called. Zim? And apparently it's really good. I wouldn't, I mean, but that's, I don't, that's the like thing, super addictive. The thing is, like, my... My my whole thing with smoking isn't a nicotine addiction per se. It's literally just the act yeah. of smoking. So I've because I've done Zen in the past and it's cool, but like I don't care for the high that nicotine gives me. I care for the act of inhaling smoke the and actual, blowing it yeah. out. I That's bought it. when uh, in my last relationship, I bought the lovely girlfriend of mine. She is smoking a ton of cigarettes, and I don't like that at all. You know, as a non-smoker, the smell and the taste and all that stuff. So I was like trying to kind of get her off of it. So I bought her like these hemp cigarettes that kind of, you know, she liked them for a little bit, but then after a couple, she's like, she said what you said. She's really addicted to them. So it's different, but she's like, oh yeah, this is cool. But then after a couple days, she's like, ah, I need a real cigarette. But I think it's a little different for if you're like a, a huge cigarette smoker. Yeah, you've been doing it forever. But yeah. if you're just like a more of a casual person who likes that, I think that would be something. They have hemp. Well, my, yeah, my, the also part of it too is smoking. Cause for me, smoking a cigarette, wouldn't do the same as smoking a black because the pull on a black is like a hard oh, right, right, right. Thick you're pull. not supposed to inhale necessarily no right? but the pull itself is like a lot of smoke yeah, yeah. whereas a cigarette's very filtered and like it's light and then on a vape which is why i like vaping you can change it so that you're hitting like big right, thick right. clouds so that's what i like is i like being able to like hit it and it's like a hard hit and then blowing out like a bunch of smoke that's what i like Mm -hmm. So a cigarette's just not enough because a cigarette, it filters it and it's a very light smoke. Like that's, that's when so you weird. actually have a nicotine addiction. So they got people all addicted to this idea of smoking just to just the action. 
of smoking. Well, there are people that have a nicotine addiction. Well, I, no, I know, but addiction. people, yeah. other yes. people have that too. Like, yeah. you're not the first person who said that. And they've got these new things that are like oxygen or like air. Have you seen this? Oh yeah, the vitamin ones or whatever. Like so. People want to smoke so bad, they're like, fuck it, we'll just, if you want to smoke, smoke some vitamins or whatever the fuck it is. Yeah, which I highly doubt. I mean, it's probably just some chemical bullshit. Imagine just inhaling vitamin D. I mean, you just stand outside and get your <coughs> vitamin D anyway, you know? Like, it's just... How does that even work? It's just liquid and vitamin D that you're inhaling yeah, into your lungs. It doesn't sound... doesn't right. sound... Yeah, it doesn't sound... The vitamin D sounds healthy, I think but not inhaling... When, yeah, inhaling yeah. stuff into your lungs that you're... Like, vitamin D is supposed to be absorbed through, like, your skin... Or consuming yeah, food. Right, right. There's not a vitamin in this on this planet that's like, no, you breathe this vitamin. Right. Like think about it. Like you're you eat it like you're in your skin. So like your your cells have certain ways to do stuff. Your mm -hmm. lungs aren't exactly like made to turn vitamins into exactly. whatever the body needs because the it's supposed to be breathing and shit. Like exactly. that's <laughs> the it. lungs it's are like, like what the, I'm not a fucking I'm not your liver, bro. Like yeah. what are you doing? I'm supposed to filter all this shit and like I mean it'll do it. It will. Because it's your body's fucking amazing and you don't need any, you know, special bonuses to get good. That's in the but... food now, so we don't have a choice. Oh God, don't say that. It is. It's in the plants. Yeah, I don't know. Throwing that on the uh on the vegetation. We gotta move I don't know what to do, man. Move out of the country? I saw a video um, yesterday, actually, where this woman was talking, and I, I want to say, I think I sent it to you, maybe, I don't know, but this woman was talking about how she's, she's, she's sitting here, and she's like, I'm paying, you know, X amount of taxes, the government's using my money to fund bullshit all, all, all around the globe, but not help me at all, and, you know, complaining about America, and she's like, and like, obviously, you would think, like, I should just move, but... The whole world's fucked. And yeah. where am I going to go? So at this point, I'm kind of just an autopilot. The food here hating it. is worse, though, for sure. We know that much. The food here is bad. More chemicals. But I don't think the food here is worse than everywhere. I think it's worse than a lot of places, though. I mean, Europe is pretty... Like, when I think of, like, the first world countries and stuff, we're, I think we're one of the worst as far as the stuff we allow into our food, though. Like, you've seen the side-by-side... -side I don't even think we're considered first world anymore. We must be. How could we not be? I think we're second world now. How? What? Why? Because it, it has no. something to do with uh, ease of life that makes you first world. And I think it's getting too hard. ability to afford health, like quality health care has made us fall to second world. We got to look that up. But if that's true, that's fine. Because like Italy is second world. And Italy is fine. Weird. Yeah. You know, first world, like Sweden. These new new world order places, Canada and Australia. Yeah, those are the first worlds. Canada, uh, I think, is first world. Yeah. For, if you get free health, free health, basically, yeah. free healthcare, ease of living. It's food, crazy because we could have free access to things you know? so easily. Yeah, but then I saw I saw uh, a a woman talking from Canada about the free healthcare and how it's like shit. Well, yeah, because you just get like whatever you get type thing. Right? Not even that. It's just because like because everybody can afford the same healthcare the weights to go see a doctor are astronomical. Mm. So you're sitting there, you're like, hey, I have this insane infection on my, you know, my right arm, and I need it seen ASAP. And they go, okay, the next available date is six months from now. And it's like, I'll probably die by then. And they're like, sorry. Yeah, I've definitely heard that too. So maybe it's not that bad. To get, to, to get the good health, you have to basically go private. Yeah, maybe it's not that bad that we have to pay for our own healthcare, but we definitely are... It could be done in a better way, though. We're fucking up in a lot of places. I honestly, I genuinely believe that, and I've seen this a lot online, and I, 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 I think I agree with the sentiment, completely get rid of taxing, get rid of the IRS, get rid of all of it, because the fuck is it for? We're paying taxes, we're paying go? taxes to the government, and then the government then taxes us on the things we buy anyway, so we're double tax pay. We're paying income tax and then sales tax. Mm -hmm. And then we pay taxes on like our houses and we pay, we pay, we pay taxes on everything. And when, the, when the food comes in like to the country, it gets import tax. And then the person, yeah. and then the, the owner buys the food and then he has to pay tax. Yeah. And then he sells it and you, he pays tax. You also pay taxes. Everyone's paying taxes and it's all just going like, to- How are you, where? How are you charging us income tax and also sales tax. It never How are was you a doing thing. both? It was never a thing until the 19, was it 1913? 
It's like 100 years old. It's tax. Like income tax. Income tax. It's crazy. And it was a government thing. It was one of these, like, t what these things were a temporary thing. We'll just mm -hmm. do this for a little. There's an emergency, guys. Temporary thing. Yeah. Boom, income tax. And yeah, I mean, that's half your money, practically. Every, every month. We basically yeah. work half the year for free. Think about it. Yeah. And the money, and the part is like, the money goes to Ukraine. It goes to this or that. It's going to, or, no, they, just, or just, they just make new money and just completely inflate everything. In the new bill that they just passed, or tried to pass, but I believe they did pass it, um, one of the one of the stipulations or one of the rules or whatever in this bill was to provide funding to Egyptian colleges in Egypt. Right, but not American and I'm just, colleges. I'm just sitting here like, for fucking what? Yeah. Colleges in Egypt for fucking what? Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. so that you could teach about trans rights So they in take Egypt? our money, they take Americans' money and give it to other countries. Mm -hmm. And... And we're just good with it because we like, we have enough, I guess, or something. We don't... The thing is, we don't even fucking have a say. No. Like, we're not here voting on bills. Not at all. We're voting on the people that vote on bills, but the people that vote on the bills typically are all in... In you know, cahoots. With each other. So. So, well, I guess we're... And all this just comes back to break the system, make a new one every time. If everyone just stopped paying taxes. taxes. I mean, some people say it's illegal. Like, the IRS is not even, like... Legit, you know, I I believe that I absolutely believe like that. Like, if you don't pay your taxes, I think they should just get rid of, just get rid of the federal government and just go state by state. How about that? Fantastic idea. Just do states, then oh, I mean, I'd be the fuck out of New York real quick, obviously, even yeah. quicker. Yeah. Well, maybe not. I mean, you know, I would, I would. I mean, if the government, if the if the taxes from the federal stuff went away, it wouldn't be as bad. Up, upstate New, New York's different than New York City, obviously. But yeah. yeah. New York City's or New York City, New York's garbage, dude. My mind ain't working. Is it a microdose? So Alpha Brain. We're gonna have to cut this, uh, cut this podcast, guys. Um, I'm Alpha Brain. Off. This is the last one we're gonna do, and I'm done. No, yeah, Alpha Brain, Beta Brain. I don't know what's going on, man. My life is in shambles right now. So how do you feel about tomorrow? Not tomorrow like, as in tomorrow. Oh right. But tomorrow as in right, right, right. Tomorrow. Well, I feel like, dude, without alcohol, I got nothing. I need the booze. So uh, put in the comments. Something about uh, something, guys. I'm struggling over here. What's going on with me? That's crazy. I'm crazy. I'm losing it. I'm losing my mind right now. On camera, live. In front of you might people. actually see on camera, P Funk. Fast break. Break. Because he just said he's going to fast and not drink. Oh, good point. Good point. Let me take a deep but breath. He might break. Let me do something live for everybody because I talk about this a lot. Like when you're getting some weird feelings. You know, you can't jump in the cold shower. We don't got time for that. That would that would be great. I come out of here feeling like a new man. I can't do that right now. What do I do? Take a deep breath. So let me let me take a quick deep breath here. <sighs> oh yeah, that's good. Perfect. And we're back, just like that. Did I say I had problems? I don't know. My life's in shambles. What was I fucking talking about? My life is great. It's great. Look at me. I'm alive. Still bald. New mustache. I did notice it's that. not it gonna last very long. It's uh, every every so often I, I think yeah, it's time for the mustache. It's gonna work this time, and then every time I do it, I'm like, it's just not working. Th this time I was thinking, well, you know, the tooth. Yeah, I still got the tooth thing. I forget about it, but then once in a while I'll look in the mirror like, oh yeah, I forgot my tooth is chipped. So I'm like, since I'm not worried about ch uh, fixing that, I'm like, well, why don't I just cover it up with this mustache? You know. People won't see the tooth because they'll be seeing the mustache. Oh, it's and like a diversion. It's right, magic. Right, right, Cause it, right. Because it kind of works a little bit. Mm -hmm. But then I already had this whole train of thought here. And then after that comes, but the mustache doesn't really look good. So it's worse to have the mustache than the tooth that people don't even notice anyway. It was this, the next thing. But then I thought, I already did it. Maybe it'll work. And then when I put the hat on, I was like, okay, this is kind of nice. It's a good look. But when I take the hat off, I won't even do it again for you folks at home. It just doesn't work for some reason. With the hat, it's all right. It'll kind of look like a hockey player or something. With the hat off, it's like, uh, I mean, we'll just look at it. Eh? I mean, it's like an egg with like a <laughs> with like a little Sharpie on it or something, right? I mean, it's weird. It's not a good look. I, I really want it to work. I feel like, you know. Maybe just leave it long enough, it'll work. You think it's working right now? I don't think it looks bad. 
Okay. Full shade looks horrendous, but what this looks good. Full shade. Oh, full shade. Yeah, this is definitely better than the full shade. Mm -hmm. But um, anyway, moral of the story is when you're trying to like, you know, quit one thing, you don't want to replace it with another thing, especially if it's like another drug or something that could mm -hmm. affect your mental. And when you're on the mushrooms, also my, my um, little thing, the scale is missing. I wasn't exactly sure. On the microdose, you want to do a very, very small amount, like 0.2 grams or something. Right. So I think I did a little more, maybe a little more than I should have, because it also kind of takes you out of the world a little bit. When you see, you, you feel like you're in another dimension. Like for a second, I was looking at you were talking, and I was looking at your eyes, and I was like, oh, his eyes are kind of, they look like little mouths almost. <laughs> oh, you are. And then sick. I thought to myself, Oh yeah, it's funny because like the mouth does kind of talk to you in a certain way. And then I was like, wait, let me focus. What is he saying? That's crazy. <laughs> That's actually tripping. Actually. Yeah, it's weird because I took a very, very small amount. Must not have been small enough. But a little bit goes a long way. But Start today. Going. But today. Is Sunday. It is Sunday as you are all watching this video. And tomorrow is why, we're, why I'm joining the fast. <coughs> It's the big old fat eclipse, isn't it? It is. This one's a big one. The eclipse. This one's a doozy. Mm -hmm. And we're right in the middle of it. Are we, we on are the path? The we are the longest, second longest exposure on the path. Rochester or what? what Buffalo is, is the longest exposure in the to country? the eclipse in the entire country. Buffalo in and Rochester. The whole world. Buffalo and Rochester are the whole, are the number one and two in the whole world. You're saying longest exposure to the eclipse. So we're yes. getting the most oh, by boy. four by four seconds. Buffalo has us by four <sighs> seconds or four minutes. One of the two. So what's gonna happen? The purge. Well, you gotta realize we're having we're shooting minimally it, right? minimally half a million people coming to our town. People are coming in from other countries to see this. Then if we're gonna add to well, it, right? Then we got traffic. Cell phones down. Oh, cell phones. We got NASA shooting rockets up into space on the exact same time as hey, the. Why is that? The CERN starting CERN activating whatever uh, it is that they have. Hadro or the collider. The yeah, the cell collider. Turning that back on. Um, is it the, the same day? day of, so tomorrow. The time of. So we got CERN. CERN is activating their shit. NASA's doing their shit. And then we got people from outside the country, cell phones not working, and traffic jammed the fuck up. So, if there's going to be, remember we were talking about how, uh, was it Ron Paul was saying, guys, watch out, a Black Swan event is coming. Yeah. Could this be it? We've This has happened before, though, where we thought, oh, like Y2K. I mean, we've had things like this where we thought, you know, something's happening, nothing did happen. I'm thinking that's what's going to happen for this one. I'm not well, Why feeling... is everything happening at the same time? Uh, I mean, it could just be a coordinated thing that they're doing. But unless, like... The, <coughs> the the baddies do a big plan. I feel like nothing's gonna happen. But I mean, shit. Maybe they maybe they pull some shit for real. Maybe we, maybe that whole Armageddon, Ragnarok, all that shit starts now. Like it's about to start. Like fucking tomorrow. <laughs> Hope you guys have been fasting because you know you want to be light on your feet. You know, chick is about. Mm -hmm. It's gonna need to be. Nah, you're gonna be fine. You're gonna be fine. Just remember, if if shit ever goes crazy, just remember, guys. We're just little specks in the whole thing. Like, you know, if you fuck up, you get another chance. It's not this heaven and hell stuff that some people talk about. You, you, you know, you slip on a rock, you bump your head, you, you die. Guess what? It's not the end. You're not going to go to hell because you didn't know about Jesus before you hit your head, okay? You'll be good. Yes, you are. You'll be good. Unless you want to. If you want, if you want to, you can. But forget about it. You guys are good. Hell is just Big the absence of Jesus. Which is where How we are is now. That the absence of Jesus. That's where we are just now. something you just said. That's where know. we are now. This is hell. This is not hell. We've had this conversation before. And if this is, this can't this be is hell. hell. No, no, this cannot be Because it isn't heaven. So it's hell. So everything is hell. Yeah, absence of God in your life is Okay, but that's, hell. Not, that's not a place. That's just an, an idea that you're just saying, like, if you're. We do ideas here on if you're, you're, yeah. if you're, if you, if you push, if you have, the, if you let the devil the idea of addiction and all these base uh, human shit fuck you up. You're in hell, and the only way to get in heaven mentally is to cast aside the evil and bring the idea of good into your heart or something. Is that what you're trying to say? There you go. Okay, I guess we can agree with that. 
Preach. That's pretty good. That's Preach. pretty good. That's pretty good. MC two. I'm glad you said that. I'm glad you said that. Yeah. <laughs> Straight out of my mouth. I can feel it. Just came into my brain. You can hear my eye mouth. My, your eye. Yeah, I could see because you can really tell, kind of not always. I mean, you can get an idea what's going on by looking at someone's eyes. You've heard that before. Absolutely. Obviously. You agree with that, the right? Window to the soul. Yeah, it's a real thing. It's, so when people are avoiding eye contact, I like. This is one girl years ago. She would never make eye contact with me. She had some weird thing, and she was like my friend, a friend of a friend. He would always bring her up to like college, and it was like they were just like friends. But she was always trying to hook up with me. But she would never like look me in the eye. She was shy. She said, "This is something I do." I'm like, "Okay, yeah, yeah." She was shy, but I I couldn't accept that. I was like, "You're supposed to be with me. You gotta I gotta see you. I can't just be like, hello, where are you?'" You know? Mm. How'd that work out? It didn't work out very well. Yeah. You get it? No. I chose not to hit. Oh. There was a time, uh, Bravo. literally, she was begging me one night. This is a Bravo. weird story, but I'm sitting there, and like my roommate was sleeping in bed next to me. I was like, ah, I don't want to wake him up. She's like, Come on. And I was just like, No. Oh, you. Actually, I used to be real nervous and shy and stuff. You actively just declined. I used to be so shy and un uh, unconfident in the sexual world because I started late. You know, I started at 18. Same. First time. So I was like, I don't know what I'm doing now. As you get, as you start to figure it out, it's like, oh, okay, yeah. But you know, in those early times, especially, it's like, dude, I was scared, man. I, was, I would turn down sex because I was scared of like fucking it up. I, I turned down some good, good options back in the old days. I mean, I still turn down people, but it's different now. You know what I mean? You turn down now because you're nervous still? No, now it's just because like principles and standards and like I need a certain thing and I don't just fuck randoms I don't really use uh, <laughs> too many of the old uh, you know uh, jimmies so uh, I prefer to uh, I don't think it's been called jimmies in probably <laughs> 30 to 40 years I was born about 30 years ago so anyway uh, because of that I have to be a little more you know jimmies is crazy I have to be a little more selective with who I choose to uh, copulate with so wait if you call that jimmies then what do you call sprinkles are those also Jimmy's? What's a sprinkle? I don't know. That you put on ice cream. Call those sprinkles. You know what I'm calling Jimmy's? The fucker did I've never heard that. Is that yeah. a thing? That's weird. Why would those be Jimmy's? I don't know. At least this makes sense. It's like a Jimmy hat, and that's like your Jimmy, I guess. Hold on. But like, where's Jimmy and Sprinkle? Where's that come from? See, that deep breath really brought me back, didn't it? I don't know. That's a good question. You've heard that before, and absolutely, you just know them as Jimmy's always. You know, yeah. get some Jimmy's on my. Uh, the the word I've never heard that. The ever. word being used, the Jim, Jimmy's being used as sprinkles, is what made me start putting sprinkles on my ice cream. What? When I was a kid. Yeah. Who made this up? Someone tricked you. <clears throat> I want to say it was your brother. Kids next door. Yeah, they tricked you guys. No one says that. I think they. Your no, neighbor, kids next door. Yeah, your neighbor kids next door made this hey. up to trick you guys. And uh, now uh, you think I've been called them Jimmy's? Put it in the comments, no, guys. A Cartoon you? Network show called Kids Next Door. Oh, 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 a real show. Not actual kids next door to my house. <laughs> that, sounds, that sounds more believable because I've never heard about this Jimmy stuff. Yeah. So the Kids Next Door, a TV show that's probably a little past my time. but uh, Kind of like Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Remember that one? Was it around that same time? Yep. Yeah, well, that was after that. Yeah. Jimmy's. Huh. Wow. Yeah, because Jimmy and Ed, Ed, and Eddie was the guy with the plane. Oh, his name was Jimmy, too. Yeah. Jimmy's a very common name for, like, kind of weird things. There's not a lot of Jimmy's who are, like, I mean, you can be James. That's then you're James, basically. You know, Jimmy Graham. Doesn't sound very tough. Who is that? It's a he was NFL. Like Keith Strong. NFL tight end. Oh yeah, he's he's like the mixed dude who's like tall and he was good for a couple of years and he disappeared. Yeah. Yeah, but when I see him, he's not exact. He doesn't seem tough. He doesn't seem like, like, you know, how like there's like the Lawrence Taylors of. I mean, he's like the toughest of all time. But yeah. And then there's Jimmy. It's like. He's not James. True. True, true, true. If he was really tough, he'd be James or Jim. So what are you doing for the Eclipse? Because you're dead not You're dead in the middle of where people are coming from yeah, outside of the know, country. Dude. You are where people... You are literally I should where people out. are flying into. They're wishing they can be where you are. And I'm going to just put the blinds on and probably just take a nap here. or something. <laughs> Crazy. I don't give a shit about this stupid thing. I think I don't give a fuck like... What, I don't. What's the big deal? So, so there's a rooftop party on uh, at the Strat. So like you, the, so it's dark for a couple minutes. Yeah, but it's an excuse and, to party. 
I don't I don't drink, bro. I'm sober. On Monday you'll drink? Oh no, I'm sober. I might never drink again. Damn brother. Might. Keyword might. I always say might at the end because I'm always like the alcohol is like, oh you won't motherfucker. What about those weddings? What about all those what about yeah, you can't like a, drinking, bro? What are you doing? If you can't do a podcast with just me and a phone camera without feeling a little nervous. I feel good. I feel good. Social events are gonna be treacherous. Yeah, I can't do it, bro. Well the nerves wasn't so much like it's not like you make me nervous, <clears throat> it's just like I'm more conscious of the podcast than than I am when I've had a couple so you're worried that the people that are watching are judging you? I'm worried that we're not giving them the best possible podcast, and I stuttered up. I Every podcast my words, is I, And then I'm like, oh, look, my hands. That also might be the mushrooms. Put in the comments, do you think that he should do double the amount of mushrooms that he did today on the next episode? Let us know. I will if you do, but not next week. We should I do don't a, do such things. We should do a mushroom podcast one of these days. A mushroom podcast? Yeah. Sounds terrible. A mushcast. Because you're over here just like... Your, your okay, I, I came mouse. back. I came back. That was just a temporary thing. When I was kind of How about like, this? You do mushrooms. I will. <laughs> if you do double the amount of mushrooms, I will cut off my motor. That wasn't that much mushrooms, dude. I took barely any. Yeah, but you said it was a little too much. It was. So double the amount. I like the mullet, though. I'd rather have you shave the beard. Who cares about the mullet? Yeah. People want you to shave the beard. They don't want you to keep the mullet. No one wants me to shave the beard. Except Everybody. Because you. you shaved your beard I one time and it looked bad. So now you want me to join in. To see if I look better or worse with no beard. You want me to join in on the no, bullshit? No. I don't know how you work. No, it's not true. It's and so if true. you guys go back to when I first brought this up, it had to do with Julius Caesar. Italians and the regal Italians, the Julius Caesars of the world, mm. having this nice, you know, the short Caesar hair. Sound Italian to because you? if you recall, we're going to bring it all the way back. I was making fun of you for the rooster style you used to rock, if you recall. And then I said, you need to. Instead of try, try something different. Instead of having the hair go up, try putting it down. Remember, and then you did that, and I was like, and I was like, yeah, it's like, and it reminded me of the old Romans. I'm like, oh, you got the Julius Caesar thing. Ah, the beard's fucking it up. Shave the beard. So that's where it started. It wasn't something about I look bad in a be- uh, without a beard, so he needs to look bad. No, this is this is no, that's not it. That's the progression, if you recall. It was a, it was the the rooster <coughs> to the Caesar hair. To complete the look with the Caesar face, and you are Italian. And also, I can't clearly. I mean, even the mustache isn't really working. I need facial hair to work; otherwise, it just doesn't work for me. The ladies, I mean, look at the look at the cop the comments right now. There's not one woman commenting on this video yet. It's literally just that one kid again every time. Well, he is the biggest fan, and our best brother, right? By the way, so this whole thing that's that's a big Eric Tay down there in the comments showing up like always and he actually had a great idea to go along with the the caesar beard and mm. the lack of facial hair it was to dye, have you heard this before to dye your hair certain colors have you has he brought this up to you uh well i don't think so well, he mentioned to me, super saiyan he mentioned to me in confidence mm. and i'm gonna bring it up now mm. and i think it's important because you know you've had that phoenix thing you've got a lot of the oh. red you know so we're thinking yeah, yeah, yeah. Red hair, that's the look for you. Phoenix red. <laughs> that's what the people want. So when I say the people want it, I'm serious. The people do want it. So, so when you say shave my beard, if you know if I do some more more mushrooms, you're gonna shave your mullet. It's like who wins there? Everyone loses. We like the mullet. The mullets are good. We want to see that nice Italian face, the, the face that used to be a Caesar once upon a time. Yeah, when I was fifteen. No, I'm talking about your ancestors. Bring back the ancestors. Caesar is not Italian. Rome. Caesar, Rome. Italy, Rome. What do you mean? With the name Julius Caesar? He was a Roman Empire. Italian. Rome is in Italy. Do the math. What do you mean? Turkish. He was Turkish? Mm-hmm. He was a Turkish guy? <coughs> he was Ozan. He was Ertl the Turtle. He was the Turtle. No way. I would love to put a picture of Ertl up right now. Oh, did you do it? I wonder. Damn. Put it in the comments. I don't, Crazy. I don't even have one. I'll send it to you. Guys, oh, you'll see it. It's God. up there. Erdal, brother. <laughs> does he look like Does he look like With that pony sale? Remember the cowboy Erdal picture I had? No. I used to do with those Snapchats. 
Oh my god, dude, honestly, bro, your Snapchats were the best. I miss those things. I'm so upset that you don't do it anymore. Well, I don't have any anybody to like do it to. Uh, there, I had a lot of time to just like <coughs> basically make fun of my coworkers because we'd be standing around a lot. Now, when I'm working, I'm working, or like I'm not just gonna pull up my phone and just start making fun of you. It'd be weird. Like just me and you sitting here, and I'm like, hey, look at my feet. They're so fucking. No, nah, but like at work, or like if you're like. You used to like hit like people walking by the kiosk oh, yeah. for the Snapchats. Well, I the loved drawings. it. I was all into that, man. I remember you did the. You worked at the mall. You did the one. Um, rest Hot in tub peace. In? Oh, Dag it. Rest in peace, brother. What, about him? What, what was that one? Was he up in drag or something? No, there was a dick in his hand, and it was coming. Oh, jeez. Oh, well, I gave him what he liked the most because he was known for that. Rest in peace, buddy. He's probably living in, he's probably up in heaven, just just covered in all sorts of no, love. He can't be in love. heaven, he's gay. Yeah, but heaven and hell doesn't exist, bro. So he's well, in house here, he's just re he's oh, here we go again. Here. So, the, okay, if that's He's true, reincarnated, it's yeah. probably you, actually. So, yeah, that wouldn't make any sense because we both lived at the same time. Oh, so, sorry about, sorry for that one. So, so here's the thing with this, whatever this new heaven and hell thing you're trying to say is that mm -hmm. basically hell is already here. So there's no punishment. You just stay here? Okay, cool. I guess hell's not that bad. I'll be human forever. Yeah, but there's so much greater that you don't get to experience. I mean, if you're fine with it, it's fine. If there's nothing, you don't think there's anything worse than this, like burning, getting tortured, your skin ripped off, being I don't think that's, by demons? I don't think that's very... You don't think that'd be worse than... Uh, yeah, than but I don't think that's bit. very... Like, when I, Im when I imagine God, I don't think it's very godly to be like, you're gonna go and burn. Well, in that's hell. what the whole point is of heaven and hell. Like, look yeah. it up, bro. Well, yeah, but I don't. I don't think that that's correct. I agree. I agree. Because, so you can't punish somebody who doesn't mm -hmm. know about God, Thank right? Thank you. Thank you. Preach. So then, how are you gonna make them go to hell? Preach. Preach. Then you can't punish somebody who's killed someone because they could just ask for forgiveness and they're forgiven. Oh yeah, the loophole. Like on the on the cross the when the three when the two thieves and Jesus mm -hmm. were being crucified. The one said, I believe, I believe, I want to I want to meet you in heaven at the pearly gates. And the other one didn't. He said, I'll meet you in heaven. You are forgiven. You are whatever. And then one of the thieves died and went to heaven. Because he, for, he asked well, we for forgiveness. Know that. That's part of the story that they added. Well, the the he, Romans added that part. He asked for forgiveness in this on the spot. And now like he was forgiven. And people that are in prison, they ask for forgiveness. They're born again Christians. Yeah, it doesn't make any so sense. So all the time, people yeah. in the military, they're like the military is the most religious group of people. Probably not anymore, mm -hmm. actually. I don't know. They were very like very into religion, very Christian or whatever. What? I don't know about the that. military. That the military is the government. You're saying the government is about Christ or some shit? What? Yeah, because the pr predominantly you mean southern. The people, you mean the people who are in the military are Christian. Is that what you mean? Not, yes, the not, military not, is not Joe Biden's se a Secretary of State. I'm talking about like Yeehaw Clinton, whatever, that came out of Alabama and signed up. So a lot of Christians are in the yes. military, is what you mean. Okay. And they're not going to hell for being in the military and killing people. Oh, so like, there's so many true. stipulations. So in my mind, <clears throat> I genuinely think that killing people is wrong. And anyone yeah. who's killed anybody won't go to heaven. But they will have this again. And they will have this as many times so they get it right. I could see, I think we kind of agree to the same thing, except for it's that heaven is just like the next level. It's not like the end spot. It's like after, he how about this? Heaven exists, but after heaven, there's something else. How about that? That's, how about we can agree on that? And if you, because if you keep, if you what keep you fucking, if you keep fucking up earth, then you got to keep repeating it like karma, like yeah. the Buddhists will say that. And then you have to like, break through the wheel and enlightenment and you go to heaven or they would say you become enlightened or whatever mm -hmm. so you're saying you go to heaven it's the same idea but i'm saying heaven is just the idea of like what it's this place you can go to that's like everything's perfect or something then after that though where do you go you don't just stay there you got to do something else you get bored sitting in heaven for the rest of eternity yeah but heaven's like boring in, <clears throat> no because heaven's an infinite thing and so, that's so is this <clears throat> this is infinite too that's what i think that's honestly why I think that that's that's generally my idea of heaven and hell is hell is what we're at now. This is hell. Okay. And then heaven is you can have like whatever you want. 
Heaven isn't just like a place. Yeah, but having whatever you want. Whatever you want. Yeah, but so like that's if a you human want an idea. That, yeah, but if you want say you want like you wanna have dinner with your great 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 grandma, you can. You wanna lady. you wanna Selfish. come to earth and be like a multimillionaire, you can. You wanna it's come to like earth that. and be a homeless person, you can. But you always end up back in heaven. That's how it is already. What do you mean? That is how it is. You want to come here, be MC2? Look at you're doing it right, right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You chose to do this. Yeah. It's not because. But you, I think once you, you, so you reach think, heaven, you have the option to go and come back because you're so, a good person. So how do you know you didn't go and come back then? I don't. So everyone here could. I use, think I'm a phenomenal person, so I, might, I actually might be. You might be what? I might be like an angel that's come back down and just like yeah, I mean, exists. Maybe, maybe. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm very confident in that. Like, you know, the guy with complex. Look at that. I mean, so your name's like, Michael, uh, the so angel yeah. over here. So maybe I am down here, just kind of. I mean, you're friends with me, and I'm definitely I'm, part of the. Part of I'm the over squad. here, just like spreading, spreading the good word, love, you know, love, giving teaching love. people. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I, got, yeah. So you would never know the difference. So it's not like everyone here. But the fact that I chose to do this instead of some like shallow materialistic bullshit, crazy. But who I'm, knows? Well, who knows the grand scheme? Who knows? You all, you also chose that other stuff too. Just right now, you're doing this. Honestly, if I were to think about which I would do, I'd do all the dumb materialistic shit at first, and then I'd be like, you know what? Yeah. Let's let's go let's go like really like just like run the run, run Grand Theft Auto back one more time. We're gonna do it for real. This and time. then you give it back to the people. Yeah. That's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to just tell them, guys, it's all right, it's all good, basically. You don't have to be on this the wheel or in hell. The wheel of fortune. You know, you can well you can turn the negative wheel of fortune into the positive wheel of you know love and actual real fortune. Move on. But what I'm saying is, you come to Earth, you know, you do your stuff. Maybe you come up, do it a few times to learn lessons, or you, or you get stuck here, or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. Eventually, you get past it. It's not like you're stuck. Then you then you're in heaven and it's over. Mm -hmm. It's like no. Then you go to heaven or whatever. You hang out with everybody. Like oh, this is cool. Now I'm gonna go to fucking do some other shit. Mm -hmm. Maybe do Earth again. Maybe do Jupiter. Maybe go to Sirius. Maybe this or that. Maybe I'll be a fucking rock. I don't. You saw know. they they found a planet with uh, what seems to be city lights. Ooh, no, that sounds cool. Though. Seven billion or something light years away. Nice. I mean, it looks like it's literally. How could they even know lights. that? How would they ever be able to zoom in that? They'd never be able to see that. They'd only see a speck. How would they see city lights? Well, they can like see. Bullshit. It's like have you ever seen? The Earth at night, like with pictures of the globe at night. Yeah, but they say you those can are, see the cities. Yeah, that. Yeah, but those are You're cameras. Seeing... They, but those are cameras from supposedly you know outer space or yeah. something. Very, 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 very close to the planet. Yeah. And you're saying we're taking a picture with that same camera, except we're taking a picture from something that's no, we're taking a picture with away. a telescope. Okay, that's... a very good version of that camera, and it's able to zoom into that same degree on a planet that's. No, Billions probably light probably light. very different degree, but you can see like lit up. You can see something lit up on some the planet, light, whereas some normal planets there. don't have anything lit up. How do you know it's not a star? <clears throat> How do these built into know? the planet? How do they know that it's not a planet and it's a star? Let's show my socks. Oh dang! You guys can't see. Riley, eat your sock. <laughs> no, I have a thing about socks and underwear where I basically just keep them for too long. And uh. I don't see the point in getting rid of that. It still works to me. Would you get rid of this? Yeah, because it's got like a you're getting it. you're getting to a point where you're turning the sock now. Turning the sock? Yeah. What does that mean? Because that's not how you normally wear socks. Oh, you mean I have to like make this? I have to move the sock around yeah. so it fits my. Yeah, foot. exactly. Right, let's put that down for the. You just flash the camera that for the ladies. Oh my! Any of you with a toe and a let and the men who wear foot fetishes, hey, we don't. We Mr. Don't. Tag. Is he a foot? Oh, he's got a foot fetish. Does he for real? Yeah, he's like Dan Schneider. Oh man, I've heard I heard foot are all right, feet are all right, but I don't really see the point. I mean, I feel like if you're into walk. feet, <laughs> and yeah, if you would like to walk, how about try crawling or you know? What do you mean, Asimo? You just crawl? crawl. Try crawling. Oh, no, crawl. <laughs> try crawling or something. Yeah. I mean, he pushes people on a wheelchair all day long. That's his job. He, none of those people walk. So I actually crazy. But no, the whole point of, I don't get the point of the foot fetish thing. I'm just thinking of, of it now, though. It probably has something to do with something gross, obviously. Because feet are usually, like, stinky and stuff. They're not usually, like, 
you know, they're beautiful too. They're in your feet, they're under the, they're touching the ground, they're always, they're stinky and gross. Mm -hmm. So if people like feet, they probably like gross, they probably want the stink, they probably want to get the foot in their face like before the shower, you know what I mean? Kinky. That's what I'm thinking. That's kinky. So for the foot fetishists out there, do you like your feet stinky? Or do you like them clean? Let us know, Eric. Or Let anyone know. else. Or anyone else. <clears throat> Quentin Tarantino, if you're in the comments. Damn, brother. There's still one more movie. We could be in it. We could be the guys, you know. Some, we could be some uh, random people. Where are those tarot cards? Because we got to do a poll. Oh, we do. Uh, I think they're probably I can see you coming there. in my hair tonight. Yeah, huh? you know, we saw that before, but because we used to drink so much, we forgot about it. Yeah. I can't believe I could have been in Mexico over here and never got invited. No, you, you got invited. I mean, because of the alcohol, I don't even remember. Yeah. But I'm I got a hole in my pants now. Oh, see, the holes are everywhere. And that's crazy, because I, I thought these pants were impossible to get a hole in. Well, when you have that type of uh, sausage in there, it's got to be, it's got to come out, you know, brother. You want to see my sausage? No, I'm saying if it's trying to reveal itself. Would you like to see my I sausage? Would not. I already said no. Damn, but I, I thought I, we were brothers. Just because we're brothers doesn't mean we have to see each other's sausages. It's called incest. I'm sure it'll happen someday. I'll be walking around and it'll pop out and you'll be like, what the fuck? There it is. That's it. Holy shit. The eclipse is real. And I'll be like, yeah, of course. I told you. I'm sure it doesn't bother me. Man's packing. Big as the moon. Packs, Kim. I am a cancer, you know. <clears throat> the moon. I signed to pull for the week. Just the week, huh? Ooh. We should pull for tomorrow. Just for tomorrow. Ooh. Or should we do the whole week? The week of the eclipse. Why don't we do a pull for tomorrow, and then we'll do another pull for the week. But I want to do a pull for tomorrow. See what? Yeah. What's going on? Yeah. Cause I don't have anyone to do a pull on, but we need to always know what the week's about. We so got us. We got a little clue. We got to get a little clue from you know. So do you want the pressure of the eclipse pull well, or no the pressure of the week pull? No, nope, never any pressure. So I'll take the eclipse since I mentioned it. And we will check out what's going on tomorrow. So this is for the whole world. You guys want to know what's going to happen tomorrow? You can, yeah, you can ask your friends. You can ask some nerd from NASA who may or may not be a fucking loser. That some people would say they're reptilians. Some people think they're Nazis. I mean, a lot of a lot of weird rumors going on with those folks. Nick Fuentes. Yep. Or you can just ask the cards. You can't make this up, guys. You see, we're just shuffling them around, shuffling them around. And there's only one card that is going to show us what's going to happen tomorrow. Mm. And I'm waiting for it. Oh, yeah, this is it. See, we're going to be fine, guys. Completely fine. Knight of Wands in reverse. The reverse has been coming up a lot lately. So we might have some issues. The Knight. Do you want to talk about this one? Let's tell the people. Tell the people what you see. So it looks like he's on fire. Oh, fuck, he is on fire. All right, wait a second. He's not on fire. Okay, first of all, the wands are fire. So he's just wearing his fiery garb because he's a, he's a fire guy. He's a fire bro. He's wearing his fire gear. Why is he in golf and flames, though? He's not in golf. As you can see, this is part of his costume. He's not in golf. This is actually mm -hmm. his costume. He's the, he's the young teenager. Oh, look at these little symbols. These are interesting. What symbols? It's like a lizard eating its own tail almost. On yeah. its shirt. That's the solar eclipse. They don't, those aren't very circular. The, yeah, the they black, are. What do you mean? No, they are. They are. The black circles on the yellow, which could be the sun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's kind of weird, isn't it? Hmm. In reverse. Well, first of all, let's just talk about the card, though. That's that's weird though. I never noticed that actually at all. Hmm, what does that mean? But yeah, so the knight is usually the kind of like the teenager card. It's a, it's a teenager of the of the face cards, you could say, of the major arcana. Not mm -hmm. quite major arcana, but like of the of the wands. There's like the face cards of the wands, you know. And there's one, two, three, four, and then the other guys. So this guy's like you know the jack, you could say. He's out there doing it. He's like, I'm ready to take my journey up the heart. <coughs> I'm going in my one direction. I've kind of done my little, I don't know what's going on stuff. Now I kind of know what's going on. We're out to get it. Mm -hmm. The hero's journey begins today. Mm -hmm. The young man is out there riding his horse. 
So of course it's backwards. All that really means is maybe some of the, some of the, like you were saying, some of the stuff that gets us moving is gonna, because this, this is a motion card. The horse is moving. Yeah. So it's in reverse, the horse has stopped. Mm -hmm. So will things just stop tomorrow? Well, that, what will stop? Something will. Something is gonna happen, of course. Service. I mean, I don't know. Everything. Everything stops. Everything but the night, yeah, the journey is gonna take a little burp. But that's just tomorrow. What's gonna happen the whole week? See, that's the thing. I mean, that's just one day. Why don't you do, why don't you pull as many as you want. Just pull, do what you feel, do what you feel. Do it. I wanna see it. I'm curious to see what comes up. Just whips do that. Can't, you can't mess it up. The cards, the, the cards, they, they don't lie. So that's it right there. Is that Monday or is that the whole week? What are you doing? Mm -hmm. Let's see if another one sticks out or not. This one is this because it's got a hair in it. See if Riley influence off of that one. Where'd the hair go? It disappeared. The sun. The sun will disappear as well. Two. All right, pop the first one. So this is the week, right after the eclipse. <coughs> more, more in reverse. So we got the three, of, three wands. of wands. More fire. In reverse. Looks like he's just looking out on the land with his three rods. His rods are strong and long. And large, yeah. He's got it's his robe on. So it's like an introspection time. Mm -hmm. Or it's like you've you've kind of like you've kind of like done the first part of the journey. Now you're taking a little step, and like, all right, you're gonna like re recalibrate. But if it's in reverse, it means I mean, not that we're trying to manifest some weird stuff happening, but it's almost like there's not time to take a break, or there's you know um, there's not there's the opposite of that, right? What? And then the back half of hey, okay, it's good. The back half of it. And it's all good, baby. It's all good. Empress, not in reverse. Not in reverse. The Empress is the new the new world. So like if everything were to She's just that bitch. And it's 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 so good it's gonna happen this week, guys. So it's not like the the fucking earth is gonna be destroyed and then or like the Empress is gonna show up in twenty years when uh, when the Armageddon's over. No no no. She's here she's here now. Right now. This week. Like tomorrow, basically. Because tomorrow is this week. So, no worries, guys. Empress energy. We always get the Empress, too. Because we're protected by Mother Earth. That's Mother Earth. She got our back. Damn right. She got our back. Mama. Big mama. Mm-hmm. So. And put in the comments, guys. What do you think is going to happen for the solar eclipse? And how many grams do you think P-Funk should consume before next podcast? And what should we eat to break our fast? because we're both going to be on a eight and a seven day fast. Yeah, imagine how wild breaking a fast with shrooms would be. Oh God, I would be, I'd start tripping really tripping. <laughs> die. No, I wouldn't die. I'd just get really high. I'd probably see some, it'd probably be really good actually, but none of you guys, I would be able to articulate what I'm thinking. I already have, a, have enough trouble doing it as it is. You do. Sometimes. I really do. I mean, you said that my eyes were mouthed and that's a pretty good articulation I mean, of what you were saying. It was a weird moment there. I was I, I did start to kind of trip like visually a little bit because I, I can kind of you know mushrooms you haven't done it probably as much as I but you've done them before right? mushrooms I've done them with other things I've never done them by themselves but like it's very like the visuals are usually not as much where it's like a thing I mean if you do a shit ton but like it's usually just kind of like fuzzy like the edges of things become a little fuzzier and that type of thing it's at the beginning like the lights become a little more glowy everything glows more and stuff like that mm. and then like. You can start to look at things and start to kind of see them just start to move and stuff like that. So yeah, I was looking at your face when you're talking and like the eyes, it was weird. They were, yeah, they were talking to me in the same way their mouth was, I guess. Yeah. Damn. So if I read a whole podcast like that, I don't think it would work. It's like, wow. That'd be funny. Maybe. Hope someone was tripping. Maybe. I mean, yeah, we'll see. But you got to shave the, the face to do it. So. Oh, darn. Looks like we're not doing it then. All right, guys, we're not doing it. You heard it here first. Put it in the comments. Was this the worst podcast we ever did? The best? Somewhere in between? What do you think? What should we talk about next week? Don't fall.